Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this, a lecture on uh, SCP-2557, also known as Envelope Logistics. I am thrilled to see far more people here than my previous lecture regarding Envelope Logistics. I grant you that was for Level 4 personnel only, but even so, uh, there are enough that there should have been more than five people there. But, um, I digress, because there's more of you here this time. Um, from what I can see, it is a great deal of the site, in fact, so, well, hell. I have made sure that, um, most of the site is welcome to this lecture, because, uh, the capabilities of this SCP are wide-ranging, and they can affect everybody at every level. Um, <laughs> that sounds quite sinister, because it is. This thing is... <laughs> The thing I'm going to be striving to you today is devious, it is Kita class, so it can't be contained, and it is perhaps one of the most dangerous things we have uh, recorded. So um, hopefully you all are ready for a fun lecture today, because, uh, well, containment breaches with SCP-2557 are very possible, and they might happen without even your intention. So, um... As long as you are aware of the signs that SCP-2557 is in your vicinity, which hopefully <laughs> this lecture will provide to you, um, you should be okay. That being said, I would hope at the end of this lecture you are all on your guard quite readily after this moment in time. So, to begin, you were all probably aware of the fact that the database page for SCP-2557, also known as Envelope Logistics, is very different to the majority of our articles on the database. This is because, for some reason, some way, <laughs> Envelope Logistics have purchased that page from someone. The entire thing is essentially a, a place of advertising for Envelope Logistics now, and Whilst it grants us a small and very biased glimpse of what Envelope Logistics is capable of and what it is, it does not, uh, provide the whole picture. So, let me put it in terms that are much more understandable than the ones put on the database. In terms of special containment procedures, SCP-2557 is completely uncontainable. We are not sure where it is located. We're not sure how it can make contact with certain individuals. It has been shown to make contact through uh, ticker tape. It has been shown to make contact through emails and through letters. Clearly, this thing has a direct line of contact with us, but we have no way of discovering where that contact comes from, how they are making contact, where they are making contact from. It is a complete mess. It is likely that there is more than just the few methods I have mentioned in terms of communicating with us. It is key to class for a reason. We can't contain it, we can only do our best to make sure we recognize it when we see it. On that note, it is imperative you recognize Envelope Logistics for what it is, and if you make contact with it outside of known memes, you inform us immediately so we can monitor it. The fact of the matter is, and I shall get into this later, SCP-2557 has made contact with the Foundation before, and as this database page is any indication, it has led to disastrous side effects. They can and might contact you. Be aware that it's them, and be aware that we need to know about it. In terms of a description, SCP-2557... <coughs> <it's laughs> Sorry, I laugh because... There is nothing else I can do in this situation. They are interdimensional stockholders. They own the database for SCP-2557 um, because they traded for it. They invest in very abstract, seemingly impossible concepts and take unusual, rather unsettling methods of payment in return. As I have mentioned, the database page is one such abstract thing. It has also invested in things such as cancer rates, gender dysphoria rates in the state of Florida, it is seemingly endless in terms of the list of things that they will invest in. Now, as I mentioned, there are methods of payment. There are, of course, the conventional methods of money. There are also, as you might find on the database page, very interesting uh, methods of payment and investment. Uh, there is cash, of course, there's credit card, there's bank wire transfer. On the database page, uh, blood rights is, is an option. Um, lifespan partitioning, and of course, a gift card is, is also available. <sighs> you laugh, but it is... <laughs> none of the things I am saying are at all untrue. I will give you an example. 
About one year ago, a member of the foundation was approached by Envelope Logistics. They sent them an email. Um, the email, as you can see, was rather uh, forward, suggesting that the price and value of whale carcasses was going up within the next calendar year, and they were suggesting investing their firstborn son as payment. Now, understandably, the foundation member did not respond, let us know, and we investigated. We unfortunately were unable to identify where exactly the email came from. It is not from an identifiable IP address that we were able to discover. But interestingly, within that year, the number of whale carcasses spotted on the north coast of Alaska skyrocketed within the months of July and December of that year. We are not sure who exactly benefited from this, but we presume that Envelope Logistics contacted someone else, either someone on Earth who was more willing to donate their firstborn son, or someone outside Earth's pull. On that note, attached to the email was a very interesting testimonial video indicating that Envelope Logistics not only has contacts on Earth, but otherworldly, perhaps even extraterrestrial contacts interested in Earth as well. Um, I'll play it for you just now so you can get the picture. We at Envelope Logistics want to make it clear that when you invest with us, you're investing in flexibility. We want to make sure that you, your loved ones, your eldritch gods, or your strange spirit that occasionally whispers into your ear and goes <coughs> are pleased with their investment opportunities, and through us we can make that happen. Here are some testimonials showing you the extent of our investment capability. I invested in the abstract concept of Tony Blair's political career in 1984, when he was just a member of Parliament for Sledgefield. Envelope Logistics' sound investment advice led me true, and his ascent to the Prime Ministership paid dividends ever since. My Envelope Logistics advisor helped me find opportunity in investing in cancer rates in Selkirk, Manitoba. Available for a bargain, it's part of a World Health portfolio that let me quit my job and pursue my passions full time. Five of diamonds arched back, intended far-seeing size, xanthoma watering, pickle state, envelope logistics, commercial, the boozing speech non tronite navigates visions of verbar spermophyter, diatine overlooker signing, what he would breathe, full breaths, malcostricology evident, trip hammer, trip hammer, trip hammer, trip hammer. You <clears throat> get the, <laughs> you get the impression. Again, I laugh because there is nothing else I can do here. This is an SCP that is uncontainable and is likely very powerful. On that note, I would like to remind all of you the important facts about SCP-2557 and the containment procedures you must follow. This should be obvious. If SCP-2557 contacts you, do not respond. If SCP-2557 contacts you, you let higher-ups know. Under no circumstances do you trade any Foundation asset with Envelope Logistics. Do not even trade anything small with Envelope Logistics. They are not to be trusted. They have shown to have an extreme amount of influence on the real world. And if that is messed with or encouraged by any of the Foundation's members, we will most certainly be investigating you and suspending you from service. Permanently, if need be. Remember, the reason that the database page looks the way it does is because a Foundation member made a deal with Envelope Logistics. They are not on our side. They are not here to help humanity. They invest in things on Earth because it benefits them, because it gives them a profit. And considering, considering some of those profits can include human blood, I don't think they're on the side of life, everyone. Now, I know this SCP is one of our, <laughs> shall we say, more existential SCPs on offer, but it is important for this site to be aware of it in all of its entirety. It can contact any of you, so all of you have to be vigilant. Even if Envelope Logistics approaches you with something silly, say, the amount of cat hair on your site director's chair, or something that'll benefit you, say your muscle tone, do not respond, do not make contact, and do not, under any circumstances, trade with them. On that note, you may also notice on the database page that there is a contact form ready and waiting. Remember, all of your emails are internally monitored by the Foundation, so nobody performs a containment breach. So if you contact Envelope Logistics, we'll know, and we will terminate you.
Sorry, that sounded rather <laughs> sinister. I mean to say we, we shall follow up on that and we shall have serious repercussions in mind. Everyone, I thank you for coming to this lecture. Please keep your head on a swivel. Uh, do not be donating any of your blood to Envelope Logistics for any investment opportunity. You are perfectly capable of avoiding this. Do not let me down. And for the love of all that is holy, don't make me come back and explain all of this again. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. I see at the on-site canteen is preparing baked potatoes today, so uh, that will be scrumptious. <laughs>